Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about dividing simple fractions and mixed fractions. These are the steps in dividing simple fraction by a simple fraction. Number one, get the reciprocal of the divisor and proceed to multiplication. Use a cancellation method first before multiplying if it is possible. Number two, simplify your answer to its lowest term whenever possible. To understand the steps, let's study some examples. Find the quotient of 3 fourths and 10 over 20. First, we're going to get the reciprocal of the divisor. So, in this example, what is our divisor? All right. 10 over 20 is the divisor. What do you mean by reciprocal? Yes, reciprocal means we're going to invert the numerator and the denominator. So, we're going to copy first 3 4 to the other side of our equation. Then, get the reciprocal of the divisor, which is 10 over 20, and this is equal to 20 over 10. Then, proceed to multiplication. Next, we're going to use the cancellation method first before we're going to multiply both numerators and both denominators. 20 and 10, they have a common factor which is equal to 10. So 20 divided by 10 is equal to 2. 10 divided by 10 is equal to 1. Also, 4 and 2 have a common factor which is equal to 2. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. Then, we're going to multiply both numerators. 3 times 1 is equal to 3. And both denominators, 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Our answer now is 3 halves. What kind of fraction is 3 halves? Yes, it is an improper fraction. How do we reduce improper fraction to its lowest term? Yes, we're going to make it. A mixed number. So, we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. 3 divided by 2 is equal to 1. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. Then, the remainder 1, we're going to take this as our numerator and 2, our divisor, as our denominator. 3 halves or 1 and 1 half. This is our final answer. Another example, find the quotient of 2 fifth and 3 seventh. This time, we're not going to get the reciprocal of the divisor, but we're going to use the cross multiplication. So, we're going to multiply the numerator of the first fraction to the denominator of the second fraction as our numerator. Then, for our denominator, we're going to multiply the denominator of our first fraction to the numerator of our second fraction. So let's multiply. 2 times 7 is equal to 14 over 5 times 3 is equal to 15. 14 over 15 is in the lowest term. Therefore, this is our final answer. These are the steps in dividing mixed fraction by another mixed fraction. Number one, change the mixed fractions into an improper fractions. Number two, get the reciprocal of the divisor and proceed to multiplication. Number three, simplify your answer to its lowest term whenever possible. To fully understand the steps, let's study some examples. Find the quotient of one and one third and two and one fourth. First, change mixed fractions into an improper fractions. So we change first 1 and 1 third. 1 times 3 is equal to 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Copy the denominator 3. Next, 2 and 1 fourth. 2 times 4 is equal to 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. Then copy the denominator 4. Next is we're going to get the reciprocal of the divisor. So we copy 4 third below, then get the reciprocal of 9 over 4. 
and the reciprocal of 9 over 4 is 4 over 9. And proceed to multiplication. So let's multiply. 4 times 4 is equal to 16. 3 times 9 is equal to 27. Is there any common factor between 16 and 27? Yes, there's none. So 16 27 is in the lowest term. Another example. 3 and 1 half divided by 2 and 1 fifth. So first, we're going to change mixed fractions into an improper fractions. So we start with 3 and 1 half. 3 times 2 is equal to 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. Then copy the denominator 2. 2 and 1 fifth. 2 times 5 is equal to 10 plus 1 is equal to 11. Then copy the denominator 5. Next, we're going to use the cross multiplication. So 7 times 5 is equal to 35. 2 times 11 is equal to 22. What kind of fraction is 35 over 22? Yes, it is an improper fraction. How do we reduce improper fraction to its lowest term? Yes, we're going to make it a mixed number. So, we're going to divide 35 by 22. So, 35 divided by 22, the answer is equal to 1. 1 times 22 is equal to 22. 35 minus 22 is equal to 13. Then we take this 13 as our numerator and 22 as our denominator. So 35 over 22 or 1 and 13 over 22. This is our final answer. I hope you understand our lesson for today. With that, just because something is difficult doesn't mean you shouldn't try. It just means you should try harder. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational videos.